I'm gonna turn this flash off. I don't think I need it. I think it's kind of making it look yellow in here. I'm gonna open those blinds a little bit too. I don't know what that's gonna do for us. Hopefully it'll make it better um, in here. It's not much light out due to the fact that it's like raining. But, uh-oh, I'll fix that. Anyway, it is What the Fuck Wednesday, actually. It's right now, today, it's happening. Now, I just want to discuss something, a major topic that hits home to me that I just really want to address because I just want to know why the fuck women, black women especially, um, cannot get along. Why? Why is it so hard to uh, create a friendship um, amongst black females and for them to be in sync and for them to be loving and caring um, toward one another and, you know, shit like that. Um, <laughs> because this morning, or actually we talked about it this morning, but a couple of days ago, well, uh, about a year ago, which is pitiful. My god sister had an altercation with, and it's been more than a, a year actually, with a female at her job. Now, this is what I, this is what I believe. This is my take on it. The girl and my god sister and a whole bunch of other females were all in a training class when they first started. And they were all, you know, they were all getting to know each other and they were kind of talking to everybody. Well, there was um, an incident with a birthday card or something falling on the floor. I don't know. Somebody was laughed at. I don't know what the fuck happened. But it kind of broke up the little bond that was being created between all of the girls. And I, there was four that, that I know of. There was two Tiffany's, uh, my god sister, and a Shamika. Well... These bitches is they're just crazy. Fem females are crazy. Not these bitches, cause it's really just one bitch. It's one of the Tiffany's. This hoe is crazy. <sighs> whatever happened with the card or whatever, they all stopped talking. Tiffany stopped talking to my god sister, and Tiffany stopped talking to Shamika because, of course, her, my god sister and Shamika are like really close, which I really don't like because that puts a damper on our relationship. And I'm a really jealous friend, but that's beside the point. Um, so this female starts to try and antagonize my, um, god sister. Now, my god sister is no punk. She's not. She really isn't. I grew up with her. We've wrestled. we fought. She's gotten the best of me, um, on several occasions. And, of course, me being the bigger sister, three years older, it's like... And I never really want to take it there with her. But I'm very protective of her. And so much so that one time I took up for her and got my ass beat. Which I probably do on a true story. <laughs> I think I'm going to do a true story about that after this. But anyway, my goddess is really small. She's like 4'11", maybe. And she weighs like 130 pounds, which she, that's just recently. And her boobs are like 20 pounds of that. And, um, she's a really chipper, really smiley, friendly person. That's just how she is. Me, on the other hand, when I'm maneuvering around and walking around people I don't know, I, 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 I kind of tend to mean what I'm a very friendly person as well. But my demeanor or the way that you perceive me initially may make females either intimidated by me or they just don't like me, you know, um, but that's, that's not the point, the point is, is that this girl proceeded to give my god sister dirty looks, this is after training was over, they've gotten their teams and their schedules, and, you know, this is like two, two or three months down the line, this bitch is like me mugging her and fucking looking and staring at shit, and so one day she walked down the aisle, and my god sister said, that bitch looked like a man. Now, she didn't know the girl was going to hear her. My, my god sister is not a mean girl. She will talk about people because we roast people all the day, uh, all throughout the day when we're together because we do, we people watch. Um, and I got a bad habit of, like, talking about folks. But, um, sorry for the adjustment. My boyfriend hates this, but 
I don't think it's a big deal if I adjust my boots in, in public. They they fucking adjust their balls and shit. Anyway, um, so the girl heard her and didn't say anything. She kept walking and went and told. Now this created an HR dispute or whatever. They said that my god sister was a bully. Mind you, this bitch has to be like 5'8", 5'9", maybe 5'10". She's a big bitch. She's not an ugly girl. People tend to say stuff like ugly bitch and shit like that when um, they're into it with somebody. But me, personally, I don't. I'm just going to tell the truth. If she's cute, she's cute. The girl isn't adorable, but she's not ugly either. Um, she does have ugly hairdos and some ugly profile pictures on her Facebook page. But... And the reason why I know this is because the bitch took everything to Facebook. She was saying shit, because they all used to be friends. Um, she was saying shit like, these hoes don't gonna learn. And this is just generic shit that I'm making up, but this hoe was going in. She was saying she don't need no fucking friends. She ain't got time to play with these bitches at Bank of America. Um, saying shit about... Um, how, uh, she was so far ahead of these hoes. Bitch, y'all all in the same playing field. Y'all all making the same money. Y'all all working in the same place. So, fuck what you heard. And fuck what you're trying to tell everybody. But, that's just my take on it. So, the, the shit pissed me off when I read the Facebook pages and how she was saying that they, uh, my guy sister got a car on her income test. It's a whole bunch of petty shit. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I don't wanna waste my time. Um, I wanna get to what the fuck part. So, this shit continued. My god sister couldn't walk past her desk. This bitch was running and telling unit managers and shit. She been on probation. All types of shit. Behind this one bitch. My god sister is at the point where she could care less. Like, we thought we were so far past this. And I say we because I always, I always feel like I'm a part of everything that goes on with my friends. Like, especially when the, I'm the first person that they discussed it with or whatever. And so, I'm thinking this shit was done. This, like, this was a done deal. They moved these bitches so far away from each other. Took each other off, uh, off of each other's teens. A whole bunch of shit hit the fan. Blah, 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 blah. My god sister was the bully. Got in trouble. Or whatever. So, she's in trouble for that shit. Still currently in trouble for the shit. And so, all of a sudden, um, a couple months passed. And a little shit happened here and there. Uh, where, you know, there was things said and, you know, people pulled in offices and shit. Just bullshit. This is not high school, my first thought. Um, but she bumped my god sister the other day. Like, physically bumped her. Now, that's one thing that you don't do. You don't touch. You don't touch. You can say whatever you want to say. Don't put your body on my body. And I'm not childish by any means. What I am is prideful. This whole situation would not have happened with me. Number one, she probably would have thought from my demeanor I was somebody to not be fucked with. Like, everybody else that I know has that sort of feeling when they meet me. Um, and so this probably wouldn't have even escalated. Because anything that I had to say to her, I probably would have came to her directly and said it to her and left it alone. Um, if there was any animosity, it would have been out in the open. And I wouldn't have... Harp, harper on it. It wouldn't been. It wouldn't have been a back and forth thing. But my thing is, is that bitch, you bum my sister. Now, on several occasions, this bitch has done things to my god sister. And my god sister has never said anything to any authoritative figure at her job. I thought she was done for the shit because this bitch is constantly tattletaling on your ass. But you gonna let them continue to think that you're the bully because when this bitch does something or when she um, antagonizes you, you don't go tell anybody. So, she finally went and told them about that. They didn't do anything at first. And so, you know, she went to her upper management and they, you know, pulled some people in the office because it was witnessed this time around. And so, hopefully, I hope the bitch get fired. Uh, my god sister is like, I don't want nobody to get fired. I don't. I just want her to learn her lesson and I want her to get past it because at some point you gotta grow the fuck up at some point you have to know bitch this is 
over. This is not, I'm not your arch nemesis, bitch. <laughs> we are not competing for the same nigga. We are not competing for the same job. We are already employed. This is a place of business. Why are you treating this like an elementary school playground is what I want to know. I want to know why women cannot just get along. Even if you don't like somebody, there is a certain thing called being cordial that everybody should be able to do. There are a, uh, there are a lot of bitches at my school. There are a lot of bitches at my job who I have not liked. And even some who I didn't initially like but learned that these were really genuine individuals. It comes a point in your life where as a woman, you stop prejudging people. You stop holding one incident against one person. You, you stop being ignorant from the jump. Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm an ignorant person at times. You say the wrong thing to me on the wrong day, bitch, and I'm gonna pull your card. But <laughs> I'm not going to jeopardize any longer. I'm not gonna jeopardize my job unless you put your hands on me. Now, had the bitch put her hands on me, I don't know what would happen. She probably would have been taken down, bitch. I'm in the military. I no longer, like, fist fight bitches. I detain hoes. I'm not gonna wrestle you. I'm not gonna fight you. Bitch, I'm going to grab your wrist. I'm going to pull it. I'm gonna pull it behind you. I'm gonna put your bitch ass on the floor in the handcuff position. Ask somebody. Ask them. They know about me. But it's just like, I just want, I just want, I just want my guys to have a friendly work environment. Like, why should I have to get calls from her saying this happened or this happened every couple of months? This shit is ridiculous. They're all grown people. They should all behave in a womanly fashion. You don't see no niggas at work bitching and shit and running and telling that and this. And I just think it's ridiculous. I just think it's ridiculous. And, and my question to you guys is, what the fuck would you do in this situation, one? And two, when the fuck are we as women going to grow up to a point that we can exist, coexist, cohabitate cordially? It's just being cordial. It's just coming courtesy. You can be courteous to your enemy. Kill them with kindness. That's what they say. I don't usually kill them with kindness. I usually just don't fuck with them. And if I see them, I say hi. I speak. If I have to be involved with them in a project or whatever at work. I do what I have to do. I'm not snarling and snapping my fingers and rolling my neck and bumping into bitches. Come on now. I'm a grown adult. You don't want it with me. Anyway, so that's just my what the fuck Wednesday. I just thought that was some bullshit and I just wanted to know why the fuck this is happening. What the fuck y'all think and when the fuck are we all going to be able to just get along as black females because this shit's ridiculous. Okay. And yeah. That's it.